Hello everybody and welcome to a new BIMPure video. In this one, we're going to do some vibe coding inside of Revit. Vibe coding basically means that we're using AI to quickly generate quick and dirty code that is not the best practice that I wouldn't use for a commercial plugin, for example, but that can do the job for a quick task that needs to be accomplished quite quickly or maybe even to prototype something that you want to do. And you don't need even programming experience for it. I'm not a programmer, I do have uh, some Rivet API knowledge and a bit of Python experience, but I'm definitely not a programmer. And for this one, we're going to be using a Dynamo. So we're going to use a, a Python script node inside of Dynamo, but you could also do it by using a PyRevit or the Revit Python shell plugin uh, that exists. So in this case, we have Dynamo open right here. And the task that we want to do in this case, it's something that we've actually done in the past with uh, a normal Dynamo script. And it is to renumber the doors based on the rooms they're placed in. So we have first the name of the room followed by a dash and then the unique door uh, number based on how many doors there are per room. So I'm going to open ChatGPT. In this case, we're using the BIMPure ChatGPT. And the reason is if you use the default version of ChatGPT, you're likely to get many mistakes. You can find this custom GPT in the video description. And if you want to create your own ChatGPT for Vibe Coding, we've created a simple video tutorial that is available for paid Bimpure members in the community. Let's get started. First, you must describe what version of Revit you are using, uh, what version of Python script you're going to be using inside of Dynamo, and give a few more information. So let's start by describing what you want. So I want to build a Python script to use inside of Dynamo Revit 2026. And then something that I like to give as information as well. So if you add a new Dynamo, a Python script node, and yeah, by the way, make sure that it's currently in the manual mode so the script doesn't continually run. It is C Python 3. So I'm going to give him that as information. C Python 3. And you can say here is uh, what I want the script to do. So first find all the, the doors in the project. You can also specify the phase. This will be helpful information in the phase new construction. Uh, yeah, and then secondly, find the two room information value for each of these doors. Use the rooms in the new construction phase as well. And then update the mark values of the doors to be and then it should be to room in between brackets dash and then it should be door index and now i guess i should specify what the door index is door index is the door number for this specific to room and then you can give extra step like if it doesn't find x and y information what it should do instead for example i'll say if the two room value is empty, use the from room instead. And uh, finally, it's very good if you tell JetGPT to ask you if anything is missing. Is there anything missing? Or anything else you need to complete the script? So a big mistake is asking JetGPT right away to provide the script. Like I like to have some back and forth, right, before it gives me an actual script. So let's go with that and see uh, what it returns. All right, so it tells you collect all door instances in the new construction phase, use to room first, if none, fall back to from room, use rooms also new construction phase, to room number, uh, dash door index, that's good, increment for each door referencing the same room. Okay, it gives me an example, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's really good. So I think it has all the information that it needs. So I can say, yes, that's perfect. Now give me the code. 
But if anything is wrong, you can go back and forth and wait until it actually creates the script. So let's go. Okay, it confirms a few information. That's part of the, the custom GPT. I ask uh, for to confirm some key information about it. Uh, yeah, something that I don't like, and I'll just click stop right away. It asks me to provide a list of all doors as an input. I don't like that. I just, just get all doors. I don't have to provide them directly using nodes. So I'll just stop the script and say, hey, wait, don't use any input nodes. Just get all the doors in the new phase, in the new construction phase. Yeah, so I guess the key information here is that back and forth is good, right? Else uh, you're going to be frustrated because if you get to the, the actual script and you try it too quickly, it will almost certainly not work. So make sure that you have all the information that you need. Well, let's see. So it's going down the list and I can paste the entire code inside of Dynamo. So I will warn you, it's very likely that this will not work. I don't know. We'll find out together. If it doesn't work on the first try, that's okay. It's part of the process of Vibe coding. So I'll just hit save and run. And it tells me there's a warning. And so the way to deal with warnings is to take a screenshot because I'm lazy and I don't want to type that. So I'm taking a screenshot of this warning. So there's something wrong on line 41. I, again, I'm not a programmer. I have no idea what's going on on line 41. So I just don't even need any explanation. You just paste a screenshot on ChatGPT and it's going to figure out by itself how it should deal with that. Sometimes it will instantly fix this mistake. And sometimes you might need a few back and forth and you, maybe it's gonna take 10 more minutes until uh, it, it works. And it tells you what is wrong in this line. I don't really care to be honest. I just want a working script. And then it says the final fix script, no inputs required. So I can wait until it's done and then we're gonna paste it again and see if it works or not. Okay, so let's try with this one and go back to Python script. Let's get rid of all the stuff. Paste, click on save and run. Again, we have another warning. And that's that one is on line 41. Let's copy and paste. So again, you might have to do it a few times. So let's paste this again. And it says, yeah, sometimes it's kind of acting like uh, kind of passive aggressive. I found, thank, thank you for catching that. And you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, right. So again, you, you have to wait. It's going to complete the next version of the script. It might work. It might not work. What I found is eventually, after enough back and forth, it ends up working. Sometimes it actually works on the first try. And sometimes after 20 correction and screenshots, it doesn't even work. So it's a bit like flipping a coin. I don't really know if it's going to work in the end. Most likely because this is not the most complex uh, task that you can ask. Okay, so let's try with this new version and uh, let's go back to Dynamo. Let's delete the old one. Oh, so you see, no more warnings. So let's get back to uh, Revit and see uh, what's going on. And it works, right? So you can see this magical room. This door is now 100-1. This one is 103-1 uh, and so on. So the script did work. Pretty cool, right? If you've enjoyed this video, get more on the BIMPure membership. It includes core Revit courses, but also mini courses with various experts on topics such as the Revit API. Learn how to automate borrowing tasks either by using PyRevit or with Dynamo. Enroll now at BIMPure.com.